free throws this season, but he's taking it out, and he's not a great passer. Well, gets it on cross court to the rack. The next foul for these puts them over the rack. And there's the ball. The Broncos not like the call. Kobe will go to the line. There's eight minutes remaining in this fourth quarter. The West still led by 20. Since then, the East outscoring the West 31 to 12. Now they call the foul on Wade. Wade and LeBron try to trap. And Wade is called for his fourth. So here's Kobe Bryant, who is six for six. At the line, 83% during the season. And I the crowd of the obviously Eastern Conference City. It's not about it. And Bryant hits his first. That's a great little problem in that Dallas victory two days ago when he was missing free throws down the stretch, but, you know, he is the ultimate closer if you want someone on the line in situations like this. Meanwhile, Tom Thibodeau already drawing up a play on his board on the sidelines. He's going to call a timeout here if Kobe makes it and probably look for a three-point shot. He has the second. Rebounded by Wade. Timeout taken by the East. The West leads by two, and they will have the ball with 16 and three tenths seconds remaining. And what has been a wild game with a number of excellent individual performances. Take a look at some of the records that have either been tied or set. 88 points in the first half, all-star record. 157 combined points, first half. That ties a record. Kobe Bryant passing Michael Jordan. He did 19 coming in. He has 27 at this point. 14 three-point field goals made by the East. The combination of the East and the West setting a three-point field goal record. LeBron James ties an all-star mark with six three-pointers. And having said all that, now Coach Thibodeau has a decision to make because you've got a who's who who yeah. can actually tie or win this ball game with a three. LeBron James has been the most consistent and top player in the second half for the East. You also have a decision to make whether to shoot a two or a three. I think in a, in a regular game, at home, down two, you, you, you get something going to the basket and try to tie the game in an all-star game wouldn't shock me at all right. if Thibodeau drew up a three-point shot here. I don't know if they want to play overtime. They might, you know, on that basis alone, you might go. You go for it. I mean, there's yeah. really nothing to lose. Tell you what I would do. If the ball went into Dwight Howard, I would grab him and foul him and send him to the free throw line. And Dwayne Wade comes up with his third triple-double all-star history. Michael Jordan and LeBron James and that, and that department, 24 10-10. The Wade will throw in. In the east front court as they line up at the circle. 16.3 remaining. James played by Brown. Jared Wade is off the pick. How about Wade short? Wade takes it back. Seconds, and Kirkland picks it up, and there's fouls with 1.1 to go. You called it, Steve. They, they drew up a play for a three. That's exactly what they were doing. They were going for the win. And Williams was 8 for 10 going into that attempt with four three-pointers made. So they drew a, a really nice play up, but he just didn't quite have enough pop on that shot. And then this was puzzling. Do you think LeBron... With six seconds to go, maybe a little left, he's going to pick the ball on the floor and try to get to the rim. Made a bad pass, but maybe the only bad play he's made all night. Again, Blake Griffin shooting just at 50% on the season for the Clippers. And the East does have a timeout remaining. You see Thibodeau over there drawing up a play. In fact, they have two timeouts left, so... They should get the ball back if they can secure either the rebound or if he two hours. One point, one shot. at the line this evening is just two of five. He's actually better off missing right here. Yes, he is. Time to go off. Two point lead for the rest. It's the second, and 
the East takes a timeout. I don't know coming into this game if these two coaches were prepared to be throwing up plays <laughs> and setting things up for final second situations. Yeah, but these coaches, uh, are like Paul, they have plays automatically in their head and at the top of their head and are on the ready to go. So, 1.1 yeah. one one seconds, this has got to be a catch and go, maybe one dribble, but obviously they're going to take a dribble. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's made so many tough shots, yeah. and every time he only has a second to go, trying to find a big target to throw to and somebody who's strong enough to get a, an off-balance shot. That's I was looking for the ball to, to free himself up and shoot a three and try to get this win. And LeBron would also like to make up for that cross-court pass that was picked off, although he has had an outstanding night, 15 of 20 threes, six threes, six rebounds, seven assists, 36 points. He's hit nine of 10 from the field in the second half. Well, it won't be LeBron James taking it out. He's taking the ball out of bounds. Surprising. So now you have to look for Williams and Carmelo as your best options. Dwayne Wade is only make one three-pointer all season. All right, Griffin. Really inbounds, and here is Billy Cole, and that will do it. The West holding on for a 152 149 victory over the East. And there are a number of MVP candidates, as we have been discussing. It's a tough one here. Well, I have a vote, Mark. You do have a vote. Yeah. I'm going with Kevin Durant. 36 points. I was going to go with LeBron if the East had come back and won, but give it to the guy on the winning team. All right, let's uh, go to Craig Sager with LeBron James. Well, LeBron, 21 points down, all of a sudden you changed the whole game with your intensity and focus. Uh, what was the rally spurred by, and how disappointed are you that you didn't overcome their deficits? Uh, you know, just being a competitor. Uh, you know, they pretty much beat us up all game, so we wanted to try to make a game out of it, but. Uh, you know, as good as I was down the stretch, I had, I had a key turnover. Uh, you know, we had an opportunity to kind of game, so, uh, you know, I'm not happy about that. How, how bad are you upset about that turnover, and how long will it carry on with you? Uh, you know, I'll get over with it, and, you know. Hopefully, I'm not going to try to watch no highlights, man. I can't turn the ball over like that, man. I feel like I let my team down, but all in all, it's a great weekend. You know, the all weekend was definitely a step once again, man. I'm happy to be a part of it. Thank you, Mark. 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 Thank you, He's ending the game at a 31-14 run. The last eight minutes, but they fall short. The West wins at 142, 149. We'll take a quick time out of this commissioner. David Stern will present the key NBA All-Star MVP Award. We'll be right back.